on the 14th of April 1912 at 11.40 p.m., the Iron May Titanic struck an iceberg, tearing open nearly 300 feet below the waterline. The Titanic sailed four days earlier on her maiden voyage from Southampton, England to Manhattan, New York. She stopped in France and Ireland before heading across the northern Atlantic Ocean to New York City. There was a misunderstanding reason about what happened and why. There was no moon on that night. The freezing ocean water stayed calm and still with all the chunks of ice floating. Titanic was making 21 knots near its maximum speed. Radio reports from other ships of icebergs and Titanic's path had never reached the bridge. The radio operators were busy with passenger messages to and from shore. As the pumps tried to clear the flooding, the lights from the Titanic could be seen at another distance. Unfortunately, she never responded to the wireless district calls, not even the district rockets. By 12.45 a.m., the first lifeboat entered the water. Survivors, including Bruce Ismay, said that as the ship was flooding, the ship's band played some songs, including the one that everybody remembered, Near My God to Thee. 2.05 a.m. The bow was completely submerged. 2.10 a.m. The stern rised out of the water. 2.18 a.m. The lights went out due to the power failure. Just at that moment, the ship split it in half. Some people in the lifeboats momentarily hoped that the stern would float as it tilted to the left and rotated, but it was quickly pulled vertical at 2.20 a.m. on the 15th of April 1912, the British RMS Titanic sank, and at 2.30 a.m. the bow finally struck the ocean floor. More than 2,200 people's lives were lost, while 1,500 died due to hypothermia, the process of when a body freezes at 35.0 degrees because the water was so cold that nobody could necessarily swim. The lifeboat could hold more than 1,200 people, but just over 700 people survived.